All right, so let's say that in your Zoom meeting, you want to also show something on your phone or somehow use your phone to display like a full body exercise of whatever you need to do on the phone in the Zoom. Here's what you do. You download the Zoom app on your phone and then you open the Zoom app and then you join. The, first, join the meeting on your laptop and your computer and then open the Zoom app and then click the join button. Okay, click the join button, which is the second button. And once you click the join button, uh, you, you, you need to do a couple things. Click don't connect to audio. Well, uh, yeah, I, I would suggest turn off my, well, because when I do Zoom on my phone, I'm only doing screen sharing of my phone app stuff. That's why I turn off my, my, my video and I don't connect the audio. But if you're somehow needing to use the Zoom to, to connect the audio, um, then you might want to click on connect audio, but or, or by default the audio is connected and the video is connected So that's why I would turn for me since I'm only showing the phone like Instagram app and teaching something on Instagram app or something I would turn off the video and I would turn off. Uh, I, would, I would don't connect the audio as well So that way if you don't connect the audio Then there's no feedback between your laptop and the phone and then the next thing you have to do of course is to join the right meeting and you can either um, uh, click on meeting ID at the top and type it in. That's probably the uh, simplest way of doing it, if you know the meeting ID and if you know the password. Or you can actually click the drop down menu. And when you click the drop down menu, um, I'm not going to do that right now because it'll display my meeting ID number. But if you click the drop down menu, you'll see your recent meetings and that might be helpful to um, join that way. But typically you need the meeting ID number and password to join. So. That's how you do it once you join. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and share. Um, uh, well, yeah, uh, I think that's it for this little video. Once you join, then you'll be able to share screen from your mobile phone if you need to show people in the Zoom meeting some mobile app that you're using, you want to train them on. Or you could, uh, you, could, you could spotlight your mobile phone's Zoom. If you're showing yourself doing a full body exercise, uh, I think the simplest thing to do is to go on your laptop, once you've joined the meeting on your phone also, go on your laptop and find the, when, the one you joined on the phone and spotlight and pin that uh, person, that your, your phone join, uh, person, your phone account, pin that account to the Zoom screen so that, so that that's highlighted for everybody. Okay, so I hope that this helps.